sometimes life kicks the living out of us. So what do we do when that happens? In this video, I'm going to give you the best process to use in any situation when life knocks you down so that you can get back up again and come back even stronger than before. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I created this channel to help you build a more loving and beautiful and positive and fulfilling life through self mastery and spirituality. And today, I speak contentment and peace and love and healing over you. First, no matter what happened, it's very likely that a sense of shock will set in, almost like a, like a disbelief something that you just can't wrap your head around. And this is typically the time where a lot of different negative or emotions that we don't want to feel will arise. Let them, let the hurt come out, cry, curse, be angry, be sad. You're allowed to be, you're allowed to be those things when something upsetting or potentially life-changing has happened to you. This is the time when you really truly need to give yourself grace and allow these feelings to come up because if you don't, if you suppress them, they will literally, that energy of those emotions will get trapped in your body and they're going to have to come out at some point in some way. So you might as well get it done with right up front. This could be days, it could be weeks. I mean, sometimes it could even be months. If it's the latter and it does take a while or you project that it's going to take a while for you to heal from whatever or move on from whatever has happened to you, I highly recommend when it feels right to you to start to contradict those negative emotions and thoughts with positive ones, even if it's something super small. An example of this is, is very easy, such as I know things are going to be okay in the long run. Even though I'm hurting right now, I know that eventually I will heal from this. Just something like that, something that's simple and easy. And this is specifically a really good time for you to practice self-care, whatever that may mean for you specifically. If you do need some direction or some help for some ideas as far as self-care, I do have a video I'll post right here that I do on my self-care days. But I will say that something recently happened to me that felt pretty life-changing and it actually is what inspired me to make this video. And so some of the things that I did was to allow myself, like I put a time frame on how long I would allow myself to stay in that negative state. And for me, it was like a 36 hour thing because it happened at night and then I gave myself the following day to just like be depressed and eat ice cream and pizza and <laughs> all that. So, but that is self care for me is going off my diet for a day. Okay, and I went and I got my nails done. Like, look how cute. So cute. But that made me feel good. You know, you could go get a massage. There's plenty of things you can do at home. So again, check out that video um, if you do need some ideas. But this is a really good time to just nourish yourself and love yourself and do whatever that means to care for yourself. After you go through these emotions, typically the next thing you'll hit is a point of acceptance. Now this is different than the feeling of feeling defeated and sometimes that can come along as well. But again, that does go back to allowing those feelings to come up and then starting to slowly replace them with those positive thoughts and intentions. For example, you may think, how am I ever going to get through this? And then what you wanna to do to contradict that or counteract that is because I've always gotten through everything. Everything has always worked out for me. This is the best thing that has ever happened to me. And you just kind of slowly introduce those positive thoughts in and eventually over time, like they will start to turn the table, turn the seesaw. These animals have been, I've got the two dogs outside. I had to let her out because she was pushing on the door. Don't eat the plant. Stop it. Please be a good girl. Do you want to see hi? If you need some self-care, cuddle with your cute little animal, this is Sassy. Acceptance is typically a very nice, neutral place to be at. So we've moved from 
the more negative emotions and, and shock to a more neutral place. And sometimes those negative feelings creep back in and that's okay, let them. But as I said, your practice of positive thoughts will start to balance them out and eventually overtake them. And then what you wanna do is once you start to hit a place of acceptance, you wanna start moving from emotions to logic. So the next step in this, as we move from emotion to logic, is starting to reflect and take accountability. So in your specific situation, what are some things that you could have done differently to prevent this from happening? And every once in a while, there's nothing you could have done, but sometimes there are. You know, in my situation, it appears that it's completely something outside of me, okay? But the reason that I'm stressed out about it, if I really look at myself, is because of something I did. Even sometimes when it doesn't seem like there's something that like we could have done differently, most times, 99% of the time, there is. And the thing is, is this practice is really important because this is truly where you get life's deepest lessons that can build you up long-term if you actually do it and you do it the right way and you can truly look at yourself with love but understanding that like there are things that we can do differently for different outcomes and if we did xyz differently in this situation and it comes up again this doesn't happen to us again so what improvements can you make to prevent this situation in your life from happening again. I recommend doing this over time, journaling, meditating, or whatever method you feel is right for you so that you can get them out, but I do highly recommend doing something where you are actually physically writing these things down. Once you have reflected and picked out some things that you could have done differently, now it's time to make a plan. So let's look at where you currently are and then also at your ideal scenario, otherwise where you want to be. This would be a good time to make a side-by-side -side list. So you just get a piece of paper, draw a line down the middle and say, where are you at now? Well, I currently have no income because I was fired from my job. Okay, well, what income do you want? Go down those lists until you have everything out in regards to this specific scenario that you're dealing with. Now, this is also the time where things can start getting fun. You really wanna start hyping yourself up. Like, I'm a boss ass bitch, I'm the king, I'm this, I'm that, I got this. Even if it doesn't feel authentic at first, because a lot of times it's really not going to. But I promise that with repetition, it will feel authentic eventually. So what you do once you have this list is now you want to what I call bridge the gap, okay? So how do you get from point A to point B? So sit down and list out 10, 15, 20, whatever things you want to that could get you from A to B. Even if it doesn't seem realistic, even if it seems like it's so far out of reach, because what this can do is trigger other ideas that you may have not been thinking before because your brain was closed off of thinking that way. So even if you don't feel like these specific things are realistic for you to do, start writing them out anyway and go as long as you can with the craziest ideas, anything that comes to mind, write it down and you don't know what types of ideas those could trigger. Now, what's really cool about this process is the more times you use it and the more times that you do this, the easier and quicker it goes. So like I said in the beginning of this video, what I went through recently, I gave myself 36 hours to be in that first stage. Two years ago, I would have needed at least a month, if not more. So I promise guys, this process does work. If you truly move through it, with the most vulnerable intentions and knowing that things are going to be okay and things are going to work out for you. And the last little tip I wanna give you guys, having your faith on God, on the creator, on the universe, and just knowing in your heart that things are going to work out for you and that we as humans can't see this bigger picture. We can only basically see what's happening right now. Sometimes what can help is if you think about a past scenario that happened, 
where you were devastated or heartbroken or something what you perceived to be as bad happened to you that actually turned out to be the best thing ever. Um, an example of this could be a past relationship where you, you know, you thought you were going to marry this person, you thought you were so happy. And then years later, after you've broken up, you realize how toxic that relationship is. You realize how grateful you are that that didn't work out. So why would this situation that you're in be any different? So I hope you guys found a lot of value in this video. If you need more help or clarification on any of these steps, please let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I truly just want you to have a positive, fulfilling, and beautiful life. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so much. See you then.